So there I was last night, about 11 half past, in my uh, birthday suit, Jimmy Jams, to opt for anything else. And as usual, come to my bedroom window, open the window, get me torch, shine it down there to look at the yard and make sure everything's happy. And I thought, oh, not again. So, don't worry, this lot weren't in here. They were out there sleeping under the trees, more than happy, quite contented. But the problem I had, and I'm not sure if I've got it again, was the water tank. So, bearing in mind, we're in pretty much drought. Water is short. We can't afford to waste it. We're on a water meter. I can't afford to waste it. Oh no, we're okay. But what I could see last night, excuse me girls. Excuse me, thank you. Any time today, thank you, thank you, thank you. What I could see with the torch from my bedroom window was a great big puddle. And the aftermath of it or the leftovers of it is, is still there. Um, what has happened and this is the second time it's happened. Cattle have come up thirsty. They've got this tank here. They've got another tank over there and they've got another tank outside. So they've got plenty of water to choose from. But I think whether this is the tastiest, they all seem to want to drink out of this one. And the problem is <clears throat> they all get their heads in there, crowd in the corner. They drink it faster than the boarcock can fill it back up again. And what happens is the boarcock drops down, gets stuck under the service box and then it doesn't turn off. So I've got to do something about that. So I will wait till this lot go out. I won't disturb them now, although they're probably going to go out now because I'm in here. But uh, yeah, that's a job for later today is to take the lid off that and see if I can find some way of stopping the ball cock from dropping right down because that's gallons and gallons of drinking water wasted. I could neither afford it, nor do I want it, so. Right, come on you, move it. I need to come out. Right, so that's the first part of the day. Come on you lot, you've got to go out. I've got stuff to do and I need you kind of out the way. Come on, out you go. Go on, out. Out, go on. Out you go, go on. Out you go. Out. Yeah, and you. Go on. Out you go. I'll put you a fresh bale in there and I'll fix that tank. Go on, stop whinging. Go on. Out. Go on. In your own time. Go on. Go on. Out you go. And you. Won't be long, you can come back in. Promise. It's kind of, un well, not completely unheard of, but it's just to be feeding now, August. The grass. I mean, so many of you are in the same boat. It's just. Um, getting quite worrying now. Uh, I think we're okay with our stocks of feed, um, hay, haylage and um, silage and we've got another 16 bells of that to come home yet but uh, I've got a feeling that some folks are already making a dent in their winter fodder for this year so I hope we have a short dry winter. Otherwise, a few folks are going to be in trouble.
Right, so it looks like the cattle are going to get their bail, but I'm not going to get to fix the water tank for a few hours to set an SOS from a lady in a local village. Help, got a wasp problem. They're scaring me out of my house. Can I go and help? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and sort out a wasp. And then I'll fix a water tank. It's coming. Patience. Ah, oh, keep him quiet for a day. Yeah, I'm getting one for you as well. Don't worry. Right. One for them. So one of the things we're going to do after TB, which is next week, and it's actually my brother's suggestion, and fair play, it was a good suggestion. We've got half a dozen really old Yuki stuff out there, um, which I need to get rid of. Now, inside those bales, there will be a bit of stuff that they can make use of. I mean, a couple of the bales will be just rubbish, but there will be something they can make use of. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to start using those bales out there for a week or so out on the golf course after after TV this is um, and they can pick over that we'll still have a decent bale up here but basically what it means is if they can't be bothered to come up and get the good stuff and they'd rather stay down there and pick over the slightly older stuff at least some of it gets used and then whatever doesn't get used I've, I've freed up the space I've got rid of that pile so because it is a bit of an eyesore so Okay, this is better than I thought it was going to be. When I picked this bale up, it looked a bit soft. It behaved soft, but I actually think it's okay. That's, that's a relief, because I need all these bales to be okay, really. They are only a year old, year old but it doesn't take long to spoil them. Okay. Got to make some space first, right? Quite a lot of dock stems in this. This is obviously stuff from um, the other farm. We don't really suffer from docks over here. But over there, we do, or we did. A lot of that material is getting ploughed up this year. And one of the reasons we're ploughing up is to get rid of the docks. <coughs> Devil. 
We all knew he was going to do it, didn't we? He can't help himself. Look, just let me, just let me pull that out of there first, shall we? Wait, wait, wait. Don't be a nuisance. Ugh. I shouldn't have put it so close, should I? My fault. You're a big child, you are. Look what you've done. You made a right hash of that, haven't you? No, don't eat that. Don't eat that. No. Behave yourself, you. That will keep you out of mischief for a few hours. No, I'm trying to give it to you. Don't push it back. <sighs> right, that should sort that out. Everybody's got food. Everybody should be happy. That's properly burning the side of my face. Hot. And tomorrow and Friday, hotter. I know, I know, I'm complaining about the heat again. But there's a reason for that. Good reason. Reason being, I don't like it. Right, 10 mil. Um, I think it's 10 mil. Do I take a bigger one just in case? Um, have we got an 11? 10, 12, just in case. Right, um, I've been out wasping today. Um, lots and lots of wasps. It seems to be the season or the year for wasps. So uh, um, you've seen me doing wasp nests before and as I tend to do them in people's private houses and I'm going in their houses, not really something for video. Are you coming out? Come on, out you go. So unfortunately, you're going to miss out a chunk on of today again, because it wasn't it wasn't for sharing. But this bit, this bit I could share with you. Um, this time of year, when all the harvesting is done and everything else for us, is my quiet time of year, and I will happily admit and put my hand up and say, I'm probably going to struggle to find content outside of tractors and stuff like that. We, uh, we still have some more tractor stuff to do, but content to keep you guys interested because there's more or less nothing I can do out there. Hedge trimming doesn't start for another 20 odd days. So no hedge trimming yet. And to be honest, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about hedge trimming this year. I think our birds are going to struggle and it may be that perhaps I'll leave hedge trimming this year till late in the season, till after Christmas. I don't know, we'll, we'll think about it. Some of the hedges have got to be cut over at the farm simply because there's crops going in and we want to get the inside done. I might be doing some of that. Reg and Andy might be doing some of that. We'll kind of see how that goes. But yeah, to find interesting content for you guys for every day, which isn't just me droning on about nothing in particular, I might struggle a bit. I'll do my best, but I'm not going to make any promises. Now, you can stay there. So we're going to go and have a look at this tank and see what the best way is going to be. It might just be a case of moving the... Um, are you enjoying that? Hey, you enjoy... Oh, it smells of garlic. You are enjoying that, are you? That's um, the salt blocks we've got from uh, T-Mac Agro. Um, I was talking to Matty about them a while ago, and he said, try them. They'll definitely help with the flies and everything else. So we have. And obviously, matriarchs and the pigs are in there first. Right, okay. Tank. Which spanner is it going to be? That one, that one, or neither of them? I reckon that one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Right first time. Put you up there before I forget you. So I just need to take this lid off and find out what's going on inside. It might be nothing more than I just need to twist the ball cock a bit. That may be all I need to do. Uh, this only occurs 
when the cattle have been down out and about and some of them have got really thirsty and they've not wanted to leave the herd and when they come back up they just they just guts the water into themselves so what do you reckon can we just twist that round a little bit i reckon possibly that is the answer because give that a bit of a bend right i need both hands for this That, I hope, is going to be all I need to do to fix that problem. So what was happening? Cattle were coming in here, drinking this water so fast that that tap could not keep up. And what had happened is this, somehow or other, this boarcock wasn't straight. How it's moved, I honestly don't know. But basically, it was catching under there. I've bent it over now. It was catching underneath there, and it was refusing to come back up, which meant that tap kept running. This overflowed. But now I've bent this bar that way a bit. It no longer catches underneath there. Cured the problem. Simple. Hopefully, that has saved me a few quid. Hello, buddy Wenny. All right, so what I might actually do is to give more cattle space around the tank, I might open that gate and this one so they can all get to both sides of this tank as well. Because if it's going to get that, that dry and that hot, they're going to need water. Thirsty cattle drink a lot of water. There you go. They've got access to both sides of the tank now. They'll drink it faster. <laughs> 